So what I wanted to cover in this video is how to do some uh, basic work with documents inside a document library. So here we are in a SharePoint Online team site. We're inside our document library and you'll see that I have a number of files that have already been uploaded there. Now when we look at this closely we'll see that each file generally has an icon associated with it. If it's a known file like a Word document or an Office document you'll see that that uh, icon represents that document type. So here we have a PDF and again indicated by a PDF document. So if we wanted to uh, edit any of those documents all we need to do uh, is simply select them. If they are an Office document we will be taken to uh, our Office Online in a browser to firstly view that document. If we then go into the top left we can go up here and elect to edit that in uh, the desktop version of the Office software or we can edit it in Word Online in this case. So when we do it you'll see that uh, in the case of Office Online we get a similar browser, similar look and feel, oh, we can update our document, we can type in any additional text, uh, any of these options that are available to us are easily added. You'll notice that in the background these documents are automatically saved for us and this is indicated in the middle down the bottom here. And once that is good we can then simply click on the name of our site up here in the top left and then we'll be taken back to our document library. Now if we want to work on other documents that aren't Office documents for example, if we click on that we'll then be prompted to uh, download those and open them with our local application. Now you'll notice that um, each uh, document has uh, is part of a field so what we have here obviously is the name modified and who it was modified by. Now for example, what we can do if we click on the name heading here, so I'm clicking on name, you'll see that a small arrow appears indicating how those files are sorted. So it's now sorting them from A to Z, and if I click it again, you'll see the arrow change to the opposite direction, and now it's doing Z to A. Now I could do that with any of the columns that I have available. Now, if you also go to a column heading and click on it, you'll see that you also have a menu that appears. This allows us to do some basic filtering on the information in our document library. So, example, if I only want to see anything that is docx, I simply click that as a filter, go close, and you'll notice that that is automatically filtered out anything that doesn't match that sort criteria. So, again, I can pull this down, and I could, for example, uncheck the docx and maybe just go for a PowerPoint, and you'll see that it eliminates everything except the one PowerPoint document I have in my library. To clear the filter I simply select that column heading again and I can select the clear filters from type or I can simply uncheck the box and that will paste me back into the same way that my document library was originally. Now I can select an individual document here so if I want to select the whole line for example here I just click on the column with the check here and you'll see that the whole document is highlighted. You'll notice to the right there is a uh, three dots that's known as an ellipse. So if I select that you'll see that I not only get a preview of the document I also get some more menu options so I have the ability to edit, share and follow and down here you'll notice that I have an additional three uh, dots for my ellipse. If I click that again that will give me further menu options. Now in here I'll get a, a live preview of my document that I can uh, manipulate, that I can work with here and what I can do here in the bottom right of this you'll notice that I have a, another menu. So if I select that I can elect to download a copy, print to a PDF, um, embed information. So if I wanted to embed information you'll see that gives me an iframe code that I can post into my page meaning that I can display that directly in a normal web page. So really simple and easy to work with a document um, via that menu. Now one of the things you may want to do is you may want exclusive access to this document to work on. So what we can do is we can check out that document. So what I can do here is click the option uh, and you'll find an option here called checkout. Now if I select that, that document will then be checked out to me. The checkout is denoted by a small green arrow icon in the bottom right uh, next to that document 
and a checkout means that I now have exclusive access to that document. Others can read it, but I'm the only person uh, the only person that can edit that document if required. So that means that you can make all the changes and then when you're finished you can simply go back in here, go back into your options and you'll find the ability here to simply check that document back in um, and make it available to everybody here. So again I have the option here to check it in. I can discard the checkout if I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check in the document because I finished working with it. You'll see that I'm given the option to determine whether I want to retain um, it checked out and I can put in some comments as to what changes that I've made. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to check in the document and you'll notice that little green icon disappears from uh, the icon of that individual file. Now again if I want to work on a file I can uh, as we noted go through the ellipse but I can also go up and uh, select the manage option in the menu at the top here so again you'll see that I have the ability to check out that uh, directly here so again select the file and go to manage third way that I can work with documents is I can go up to the tabs here and I can expose the ribbon document so again what I can do here is with that file selected you'll see that I can again check it out here I can edit the document and if I want I can also work with the whole document library so again a number of different ways of working with the documents you can obviously click on the documents to get access to them to edit them you can also work with them from the menu bar across the top you can also go to the ellipse and select the options that are available to you. So a number of different ways of working with your documents in SharePoint Online. So I hope that's given you a brief overview of how to work with some of the basics once you have documents in the SharePoint library. And I thank you very much for watching this video.